Do you want to start your content creation journey and make some real money? Then this video is for you. Check out this Instagram page. They're blowing up just by posting simple viral emoji reels. And guess what? They've already racked up over 200,000 followers. This kind of dancing noodles videos are also going viral these days. And today, I will share the method of creating this kind of video. So, without further ado, let's dive in. The method of creating both noodle and emoji videos is the same. Today, let's see how you can create a dancing noodles video. To create this kind of video, first of all, you have to generate some images of dancing noodles. And to generate good images, you need some good prompts. Don't worry, I'm going to share the method of generating unlimited prompts. To generate prompts, I will use ChatGPT. After coming to ChatGPT, type like me. Can you please generate some prompts to generate images of dancing noodles with AI image generators? The prompt should be like this. Now I will enter a prompt template. I will put the templates in the description box. After entering the prompt template, hit the enter button. And here it is. Our prompts are ready. Honestly speaking, the prompts are so good. Now you can generate unlimited prompts by simply asking for more prompts. For example, I am typing, give me 10 more prompts. And here it is, ChatGPT starts writing more prompts for us. And there it is, 10 more prompts are ready. So now, you can generate unlimited prompts to create your images with ChatGPT. Alright, our prompts are ready. Now it's time to generate an image with these prompts. To do that, you can use any image generator. I will use the TensorArt image generator. TensorArt is one of the biggest image generation model hubs. Here, you will find all the latest and vintage image generation models. After coming to this page, you have to select one of the image generation models. I will use this Flux model to generate the image. Once you are on this model's page, hit the Run button. This is the image generation interface. Here we have to enter the prompt. Copy one of the prompts from the ChatGPT generated prompt list and paste it into the TensorArt image generator. Flux 1 doesn't support the negative prompt at this moment. Next, here you will find all the settings. First I will add a LoRa. Click here first. After coming to this page, search for Noodles, and then select this LoRa. Next, for all other settings, I will keep everything as it is, except the aspect ratio. We have to set it according to our platform. For example, I want to create videos for Instagram and TikTok, so we need a portrait size image. I will set a custom aspect ratio from here. Set the width to 1080 and the height to 1920. Once you are done, hit the generate button. It will take some time to generate the image. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, TensorArt generates two images for us. Honestly speaking, the images are perfect for creating our video. If you don't like the images, you can always regenerate them. All right, now using the same method, you can generate the other images. TensorArt gives you 100 free credits every day. You can generate almost 60 images per day for free with these settings, and I think that's good enough to start creating content. All right, now download the images to your device. Okay, our images are ready. Now we have to create videos with these images. You can create videos with any image to video generator. Platforms like Vidu, Luma AI, or Kling AI are now trending AI video generators. Let's generate images with Vidu AI. To find Vidu AI, simply search for Vidu Video Generator on Google or any other search engine. Once you get the search result, enter the related link. Now create an account or log in to your existing account. Okay. Once you are on the Vidu Video Generator, your interface will look like this. Here you can see some of my previous generations. On the left side, you will find three options to generate videos. Image to video, character to video, and text to video. We need to use the image to video option. Now click here to upload the image you want to use as the first frame. After uploading the image, enter the text prompt here. You can skip it, but I always recommend entering detailed prompts. I am entering the basic part of the image generator prompt for this image. At the bottom of the prompt box, you will find an option to enhance the prompt. I think we don't need it, so turn it off. Next, in the settings option, you can set the duration and quality. Vidu can generate 8 second long realistic and animated videos, but you need a pro plan to generate an 8 second long video. Alright, once everything is set, hit the create button. 
It will take some time to generate the video from the image. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is. The video is ready. The video is looking stunning, but there is a catch. You can see the video quality is very low. Don't worry. You don't need to use any video enhancer tool because you will find a built-in video enhancer on Vidu. To enhance the video, click on the upscale button from here and hit the confirm button. The process is started. Vidu AI costs 4 credits to generate a 4 second long video and 4 credits to upscale it. It gives 80 free credits every month, so you will be able to generate 8 4 second long videos every month for free. Okay, this is the upscaled version of the video. Now it's perfect. Using the same method, you can create videos for all the images and download them to your device. I have already created all of these videos from the generated images. I used Kling AI and Luma AI to create the videos as well. If you want to know how to create videos with Kling AI and Luma AI, then watch the videos from the end card. Alright, our videos are ready. Now it's time to give the final touch. To do that, I will use CapCut Video Editor. You can use any video editor. After coming to the video editor interface, import the video clips. After that, insert them into the timeline. My suggestion is to create videos under one minute. If you have more video clips, then use them to create another video. After inserting the video clips into the timeline, add transitions between every scene. You will find a vast number of transitions in the transitions library. There is no rule for adding transitions. Just add what you want to add. All right. Now you can add effects to the video from the effects library. We are almost done. We just need to add engaging music in the background. If you can find some trendy music and add it to the video, it will be great. You can add music from the CapCut audio library, or you can generate music with an AI song generator like Suno AI. Once the music is added, adjust the length according to the video clip. Once everything is set, hit the export button from here. Now add a title for the video. After that, hit the export button from here. It will take some time to render the video. Let's fast forward this part. And here it is, the video is ready. Let's have a look. Scrolling through my feet, see you dance so sweet. Heart starts to beat to the viral beat. Your moves got me hooked like the way you looked. Captured in 10 seconds, now my heart's booked. TikTok, love is all I need. Swipe right, let's plant the seed. Dance with. I think it's a great video. And now you can also create videos like this. I believe it will boost your content creation journey. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that I would love to hear about your experience generating videos with AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!